latest update on the Milwaukee work truck. We've been messing with the V plow and uh, we actually had to wait for the correct linear actuators. We had some cheapies that we had from eBay. I mean, they're so cheap that you can't even see the markings on there. Uh, just rubbed off. But what we got in were for Gelly, and I will probably leave the model number. These are the correct ones that we designed this for. Uh, 35 pounds, they're four inch stroke. And what I did is I installed one new correct one, and then I left one of the cheapies in, and you guys can see the uh, movement per second. So, um, see the other one stroked out. I mean, it's easily, I don't know what would say, four times as fast. And then for the up down, you know, that's no problem now. And all you do is reverse it. 12 volt. And what we've added to it is we actually did a slotted mount so that if we hit a big bump or a pothole or something like that, it's actually spring loaded. So hopefully, uh, that will take off the shock from the linear actuator and it won't break it. Um, it's got a good inch and a half of a rebound. It's got a spring inside that. Um, so hopefully that protects things. So the next update you guys are gonna see is all about the electronics. Um, we've got our East Coast Power Ups kit. We're just going to run this on 24 volts. We're going to use 18 volt Bainbot motors. Um, and this is basically the kit. Wesley over at East Coast Power Ups does a phenomenal job of putting a, an all in one kit together. We'll definitely talk about this in depth, but it comes as a thousand watt. And uh, these are the, this is the ESC or speed controller. Um, because these motors, I'm sure, draw more than 300 watts each. That'd be 1200 watts, I know for sure. So we've actually upgraded it with a 1500 watt controller and we've already switched out the, the um, leads. We use these Anderson power poles. They, they're easier to work with and they um, hold up better for us as far as when you have heavy amp draw, there's a tendency for uh, connections to get hot and melt because of uh, resistance. But anyways, guys, uh, keep an eye out. For the electronics, this thing will have all six wheels spinning here in the next update. Uh, I don't know if I ever even talked about this, but we're going to run 18 amp hour 12 volt batteries uh, under the seat. We've got two of those that'll drive the motors. And then we're going to have an accessory battery right here under the passenger seat. So we got to start uh, placing light switches and winch switches and all that. Um, I think I talked about this in the last update, but I might not have posted it yet, but we've got the uh, rear LEDs in there. But this truck is going to be awesome. Um, there's some stuff going on, I can't really talk about it yet, but uh, let's just say there's some people at Milwaukee that are pretty interested in this. And uh, if all this stuff comes together that people are talking about, you're going to see some crazy stuff. Alright guys, thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next update on Project Heavy Duty.